first things first, I'm taking my eyeshadow primer. Anyone will do. I just find this one does a really good job of prepping the eye area for the shadows that are to come. And I never have an issue with my shadows creasing or fading throughout the day. An additional step that I'm taking today is applying an eyeshadow base. I'm using a white pencil on the eyes today because I'm working with colourful shadows and anything that I layer over the white is really going to intensify it. So you can blend this in with a brush or your fingers. I do find fingers better though just because the pencil is a creamy product and the warmth of your fingers will just help melt that base into the skin. And also don't forget the lower lash line too because we will be adding colour there later on. And I again just like to blend this in with my fingers. So I'm taking the Sleek Ultra Mattes Volume 2 palette today and I'm starting off with this shade here. It's a couple of shades darker than my skin tone and by adding this into the crease of the eye, it's going to give me some definition and it works really well as a transition shade. So it won't really be seen in the finished look, but it just helps the shadows that I'm going to be applying later blend that bit better and that's why I take this step. If you're of a lighter skin tone than myself, there's a lighter shade in the same colour family in this palette and if you are a darker skin tone, opt for a similar colour, just a few shades darker. So once I've added a couple of layers of that to the crease and to the lower lash line, then I'm moving on to colour. I'm taking the Sleek Acid Eyeshadow Palette and picking this purple eyeshadow on a small dense brush and tapping that shadow down on the outer third of the lid. That's where our colour is going to be focused today. So being that this is a dense brush, it's going to apply eyeshadow in a more concentrated manner than when compared to the likes of a fluffy brush. You won't get the same colour payoff using a brush like that. In saying that though, as I am starting to blend now, I'm pulling the shadow into the shape that I want. I'm elongating the eyes today by pulling the shadow outwards at an angle and using the tail of my brow as a guide. But you can clearly see now the colour has faded drastically. And this is a perfect example of why I say that you always need to layer your shadows. On the first application, you're either going to get the good colour payoff or a nice blend, not both. I like to do as much as I can with my small dense brush in terms of applying and blending and then just for that edge I'm taking a fluffy blending brush and blending along there because we don't want harsh edges. We want the shadow to fade out to nothing the closer to the brow bone that we get. Now that we have a nice fade I'm going back in with my small brush and another layer of that purple eyeshadow and I'm repeating the process. So very carefully just patting down that eyeshadow onto the lid and I'm gradually pulling the shadow up into the crease. Then for just that very outer edge, I'm taking the fluffy blending brush and using back and forth sweeping motions to blend out that edge. Now if you don't have a small brush or you just prefer to use a fluffy blending brush to apply and blend shadow, that can still be done as I'm showing you here. You can even do a combination of both. If you are using a fluffy blending brush to apply and blend, just be mindful to keep the shadow to the outer third. It's easier to coat a small area when you've got a smaller brush. For the lower lash line, then I'm taking up some of that purple on an angled brush and I'm tapping it halfway along the lower lash line. Starting right in at that lash line and then as I have less product on my brush, I'm going to pull downwards slightly, still tapping away just to fade out that purple. So moving back to the Eye Divine palette now, I'm taking the dark purple shade and I'm using that small brush once again to apply the shadow. So I'm patting the shadow down and using little circular motions to blend it in with the purple that I applied previously. So I'm mainly keeping this to the very outer third. What I like about this look too is that for starters, I think the shape of the shadow is really nice. It's nice and flattering, it elongates the eyes. And secondly, it's a good way of wearing colour if you just want kind of a hint of colour. It's nothing too over the top. Or if you just want to experiment with colour but you don't want to go the full whack. So because we're keeping the colour to the outer portion of the eye, it's just a little bit more subtle if you call it that. So I'm adding that purple now down along the lower lash line and just up onto the upper lash line slightly as well. If you're struggling to blend with an angled brush or you just don't want to, you can switch to a small bullet shaped brush. Just run this along the very edge of the shadow on the lower lash line to soften it, whichever you find easiest. So I've been building up that purple now, getting a nice gradient. Usually I add some black now for some depth at this stage, but to add some depth today I'm using a navy blue because it complements the purples better than the black I think. So using a small C-shaped brush now, I'm beginning by smoking this into the lash line. Now with this shade I'm going to build it up in about 4 or 5 layers, working with a small amount of product on my brush at a time. Because it is a darker shade, I just want it to add depth, I don't want it to overpower the look. The focus here is on the purple. So just adding several light layers stops you from over applying the shadow and it actually makes the blending process easier as well. 
So I'm basically tapping this down on the outer third, pulling it outwards towards the tail of my brow, following that kind of almost line that I've created so far. And I'm basically creating the flick part of the wing, but a soft smoky version. What I do to the top, I do to the bottom. So I'm reaching for my angle brush once again, and I'm tapping that eyeshadow down along the lower lash line. Next then I'm picking up this matte white eyeshadow from the palette and I'm tapping this down on the inner portion of the lid so entirely covering that blank space and I love the contrast I think it just makes that purple pop even more so I just pat 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 until I'm happy with the coverage. Then I'm reaching for my blending brush and with no product on my brush I'm sweeping over where the purple and white meet just so that the two eyeshadows fade nicely into one another. I applied some lashes now and then I've picked up some of that milk pencil on a flat brush and I'm pressing it onto the waterline and I didn't want the waterline to be bone white which is why I used the brush because I could apply it a bit more sparingly. So now I'm using some mascara to obviously coat my bottom lashes and then also to blend my own lashes in with the false ones and then that's it. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, I hope you found it helpful and easy to follow. If you did, please let me know. I always appreciate the feedback. Stay safe and I'll catch you all soon.